Hello again, friends. We all need someone to stand up for us. Someone who knows more, is stronger, has our interests in mind, and who longs to protect and help us. I'm so grateful today that we have just such an advocate. Whether we get things right, or particularly when we mess up and get things wrong. Listen to these encouraging words. My dear children, I'm writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins, and not only for our sins, but the sins of the whole world. Thank you, God, for the gift of Jesus Christ who's advocating for us today. We do long to be those who do not sin, but we're not there yet. We find ourselves falling more often than we wish. We're grateful that since this is no surprise to you, that you prepared in advance and are willing to forgive us when we confess our sins and you cleanse us from all wickedness. Help us today to live in the humility of our sinfulness and our need of the Lord Jesus that you were reminding us about when you told us, if we claim we have no sin, we're only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. And so our prayer today is that we would live in loving response to your gift of forgiveness and life. Help us to make ourselves aware of your commands by spending time in your word and in prayer so we hear what your spirit is saying to us today and seek your agenda rather than just doing what we want and hoping you'll hang around with us. You said, and we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. We pray to pause often and remember that you are with us, that you have a plan for us today, and that as we go forward, either by leaps and bounds or by halting steps or stumbles, that you are advocating for us and supporting us. Thank you. Amen. Oh, I'm so great I have an advocate today, aren't you? I know we all need one. Let's rejoice in that provision from God on our behalf. Have a great day.